So in the last video, we were talking about the difference between uh, a path from the server route versus the website route and how they were different. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and we're going to actually start working with those so that you can see the difference. Okay, so when we're when we're working with um, templates, we're not going to be working at the same level of the website. We're going to be at different directories at different levels. So when we're designing uh, code that's going to be used in a template, we got to make sure that the links from wherever you're using it is. And so uh, one of the common practices is to put your includes into a common folder. In this case, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created a folder called includes and I've new moved that name.php file uh, into that location. And we'll go ahead and close that. And then, um, so there's the includes folder. And then what I've done is I went into the myname.php file and I changed the code here to include an anchor uh, to that name.php. And since the includes folder is in the same folder as the my name, I just did the folder name slash name.php and I gave that the text of name file. And then I've also included a PHP with the same path. So let's take a look and, and see what happens uh, when we do that. So we're going to go ahead and save and upload that. And then when you bring up the page in your browser, we're looking at the not my name .php, uh, you'll notice that uh, the the file is included, the name.php, because all that was in there was an H1 with my name. And then we've got the hyperlink that we added to the same file. And you'll see that those works. Now, if you look at this, this is actually the names.php file. So doing that from in that folder, it, it works just fine. The problem comes that if we are using this as a template and have it in different folders, then that's going to start to break. To demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subfolder within the PHP and I'm going to just call that level 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this myname.php into that location and we'll see what has happened. So I'm going to do a save as and I go into the level 2 and I'm going to keep it, uh, we'll call it myname2 just so that we can see the difference in the files. Now I have the myname2.php in the level 2 folder that's also within the PHP. Let's go look and see what that does. When I go to that page, now what you see is that there's the link to the name file and that gives me a 404 error because if you look down here in the gray box where it's trying to bring me is to this level 2 and then look at includes. The reason that it's doing that is because this code says uh, look in the same level for the folder name includes and name.php. Now uh, when you start getting to uh, relative URLs, um, if we know exactly where this file is going to live, then we can tell it in this case it needs to go up one level because it's saved in level two, it needs to go up one level into the PHP folder and then look for the includes folder. So if we save that with the hyperlink, uh, let's go ahead and save that and upload it. Now when I reload this, oops, wrong file. Now when I reload this file, um, what it's going to be looking for is it goes up the level to the PHP folder, looks for the the include in the includes folder and then finds the names.php. So we're able to use that as a tool. We can use that up folder if we know where that file is going to live. And this is with the hypertext link or a, a, a web link that we're talking about here, not a PHP. We'll get into that in a few minutes. But we're not always going to know what level that folder is. Again, we're using this as a template. So what we need to do is we need to go to a root relative uh, URL to use anytime we're creating hyperlinks um, within the, the portions of the website that could show up on any page. The way that we do that is we use what's called a root relative URL. And a root relative URL begins with a forward slash. 
and then it goes to whatever the path is from that um, website root level PHP and then includes a name.php now when I upload that so again I'm loading the my name 2.php I'm gonna reload that and I'm going to the name file and that's got Kevin W Tharp so it gives the full path of the the forward slash brings it to the domain and then the rest of the path brings you to whatever file you're wanting to do now if we do that same thing with the uh, PHP code and we'll go ahead and try that just to show you that it doesn't work I put that into the includes I save it upload it then when I come and go back to the my name 2.php and reload that uh, it still isn't working um, because it's not bringing me to um, the level because it's a PHP and as you recall in PHP codes it's trying to come from the server so what we need to do is we need to find the absolute path to that file not the uh, website path we need to find the path from the server to uh, wherever we're gonna have those files and I'll show you how to do that in the next video